Passing the torch at Toll Brothers, founder Robert Toll handing over the reins to Doug Yearly, the company buying up land in droves. A lot to talk about, and they both join us now. Thanks so much for being here, guys. I appreciate it. Our pleasure. Let's talk, talk first about it, the shift in management. Why was this the right time to make this move at Toll? Why not? Uh, <laughs> the, mar the market's coming back. Um, it's, it's not a matter of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. We're out of the tunnel. We're into the sunshine. Uh, there are some who've spoken of a double dip. I don't want to say they're out of their minds, mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't seem uh, possible uh, to us. Whenever you say such a thing, of course, you get fooled. So I'll, I'll take it back and say it doesn't, it doesn't seem likely to us. And um, the, the time to pass a, a torch, I think, is when you're, when you're looking at moving up and onward, mm -hmm. not when you're fighting rear guard battles and trying to stay alive. So uh, the, the sunshine, as I said, is here, and uh, that makes it a good time to pass the torch. The sunshine is here. I mean, hearing a housing executive say that is welcome news to all Americans right now. Doug, if you can speak to the land rush of sorts that appears to be going on in this country right now. Uh, the last quarterly report told talked about spending $100 million on some 3,000 plots of land. You're picking up land in depressed areas like California, like Arizona. Some would call you crazy for doing that. Why are you making the move now? Opportunistic. Uh, the, the banks are starting to free up their land, and we're taking advantage of it. We have a billion six on our balance sheet, mm -hmm. cash, and uh, we think now's the time. We feel better about the market, and good opportunities are coming along. Last recession, this is the same way we grew the company, by taking advantage of land deals, mm -hmm. and we're going to do it again. You know, it's interesting is some have criticized Toll for, for Doug holding on to the land that you have and not selling it. Uh, at the lows or near the lows, and you've even gone as far as to say we're proud of our land positions. Was it a difficult move to hold on to all that property when many argued it was not uh, financially the right move for the company? Well, our high was 92,000 lots that we under controlled, and we're now down to about 32,000. Mm -hmm. So we have shed about 60,000 lots. Most of that was optioned land that we had not yet closed on, uh, so it wasn't as painful to shed it. But um, we like land, we like land development. Uh, we've always uh, been in that business, coming out of Philadelphia, where there were not land developers to feed us land. We've taken that uh, nationwide, and we'll do it again. So we're, we're, we're not at all afraid of land. We're proud of the land we have, and we look to grow it even more with great opportunities. During the Bush administration, uh, we heard time and time again, you know, every American should be able to own a home. Seeing what we saw happen in the last recession, the housing crisis, in both of your opinions, do you think that buying a home is the correct trajectory for each and every American? This, the, the average home ownership uh, stat in this country is about 68, 69 percent over the last 20, 30 years. Um, it got up to 70 percent uh, under the Bush administration. Obviously, 100 percent shouldn't own their own home. Um, having said that, uh, for those that can afford to own their own, own home, other than for the last couple of years, it's been widely, wildly uh, the best investment uh, uh, that a family can make and um, been a sound investment and paid off other than for the last couple of years. I expect that will return. Um, I, I don't expect that we're, we're in a new paradigm where houses sometimes are above the line and sometimes below the line of good investment. Mm -hmm. So, no, I don't think everybody should own a home. That would be silly, but uh, I do think the number ought to stay pretty close to where it's been for the last couple of decades, 68, 69 percent. And uh, I think they'll find that that was an excellent investment. Anything that you'd like to, to add to that, looking at how many Americans you think will buy homes you know, down the road? Is it going to go up from here? I, I agree with Bob. I think what happened in 03, 04, 05 is that there were many people buying homes that weren't buying them to live in them. They were doing it strictly as an investment. Right. And I hope we've all learned from that. I hope the builders have learned and I hope the buyers have learned. Uh, I'm not sure in the long term everyone will remember as acutely as we do now, but right. uh, it was certainly overheated because we had many more people than just true homeowners mm -hmm. in the market.